Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my December Strasbourg video blog. Um, I should say Merry Christmas because you'll be seeing this in the week or so before Christmas. So there's been a little bit of that around Strasbourg this week. But the very important issues that we've been dealing with, the first one is something called the Commission's Work Programme, which sounds a bit dry, but actually it's the most essential document because the Commission, as you know, has the sole um, right to propose legislation and it's their work document that's really important because that's where they put uh, their proposals. And we've seen a complete change now with this new commission because Mr Juncker came in uh, assisted by a chap called Franz Timmermans who is the Dutch commissioner and he's his right hand man. His big thing um, is about reducing the burden of legislation across the EU, trying to make uh, the EU do less but do what it does better. So firstly that's stopping um, mission creep, so if it's not an EU competence then the EU shouldn't be doing it. And the classic one which is always quoted is Mr Timmermans uh, has withdrawn any proposals to um, <laughs> legislate on the size of heels of hairdressers because hairdressers um, of course if they're standing all day and they're wearing high heels this could be a problem but his attitude to that is well that's up to them and if um, if governments feel that has to be legislated on um, personally I don't but if they do then they should do that nationally there is absolutely no single market reason no trade reason why that has to be done so uh, he has withdrawn anything like that. So a lot of stuff has come out of the programme and I very much welcome that. There have been some areas where I think they've perhaps been a little overzealous and one of those on environment uh, particularly they're taking a lot out. But bear in mind that environment is a whole, wholly a competence of the European Union and it is a cross-border issue. You probably don't realise but 40% of the pollution in the southwest that we're breathing so when we have uh, NOx, that's nitrogen oxide and sulphur oxide and particle problems in our air in places like Bath, Bristol and indeed sometimes in the countryside there can be a bit of a toxic cocktail with ammonia. Where we've got health issues around that, some quite severe ones documented by the World Health Organization, 40% of the, pollution, the pollutants are actually coming from the continent. They're coming across from France, Belgium, and within um, the mainland Europe, if you're somewhere like Rotterdam, you, you've got a real cocktail from different countries. So it's very, very important that we deal with something like that on a Europe-wide basis, because there's no point in the, e the UK government fixing it if 40% is going to come over from somewhere else, we want to make sure they're fixing it too. And on that particular package on air quality, I'm actually the Parliament's rapporteur. That means I'm the member who would take it through and I've been working on it for a year. And uh, Mr Junk has withdrawn it, uh, which is greatly disappointing. And we have uh, reacted and said that we don't wish it to be withdrawn and we'll see where we go with that. So on the whole, I think it's a good message. Uh, things are being made easier, they're, they're being made simpler, for businesses particularly the idea is to make less regs, less um, problems, but let's not go too far because uh, we must make sure that we maintain, uh, particularly around agriculture where as you know half the European budget is spent on it, if we deregulated it uh, and simply gave uh, money to farmers um, without any, any rules telling them how that money um, should be spent or more importantly how it shouldn't be spent then I think uh, we would have a big problem so we will be um, watching this very closely and we're hoping for a resolution in January. So that's been the main uh, legislative um, administrative thing that we've been dealing with. I've also been reacting to the council's decisions on fish quotas which have taken place uh, Monday and Tuesday of this week. In the southwest, we're very lucky because we have the fisheries minister, George Eustace, who is um, a, a MP down in Cornwall. And George has been working very hard to make sure that uh, we look at the scientific evidence and where we need to restrain ourselves and fish a little less. Um, 
quotas have been reduced, but this year has seen the smallest reductions for some time. And in the southwest, I think uh, we got a pretty good deal out of it. So that, that's been relatively good news um, this week. So I'm going to finish there. Um, thank you very much for watching as ever. I know um, many of you write to me and say you enjoy these blogs. If you've got any way in which you think I can improve them, please let me know. Um, let me wish you a very happy and peaceful Christmas and a successful deregulated New Year.